Hello and welcome to a filter grade tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to import and apply LUTs to your footage in DaVinci Resolve. For those of you that have no idea what a LUT is, a LUT is a preset color profile that when applied to your video footage can instantly change the color, white balance, shadows, highlights, and the overall look to your clips. It essentially does a grading for you, speeding up your workflow. They're especially helpful if you're new to color grading or want your footage to have a unique look. LUTs can also stimulate your creativity and help you create mood and tone while giving your footage a look that separates you from the rest. Okay, today we're going to be looking at the CinePlus Kino LUT, which you can download right here at filtergrade.com. This LUT is great if you're looking for a cinematic look with a lot of options for white balance and exposure adjustments. So let's get into it. So once you've downloaded your LUT pack, you're going to want to unzip it, and it'll turn into a regular file here you can view. In the documents, there's a little write-up on the LUTs as well as instructions on how to apply and use them. And here we've got our log and our 709 folders. We're gonna need both of those for when we drop them into Resolve. So let's get into Resolve right now. Once you've got your timeline all set up, you're gonna wanna go to the color tab. So now that you're at the color tab, you're gonna wanna go down to the bottom right-hand corner to this gear, project settings, open that up. Find color management, scroll down to look up tables, and hit open LUT folder. This opens up all your LUTs that you have. Resolve already comes with preset LUTs that you can use. So now all we have to do is go into our CinePlus Kino LUT pack, highlight the log and our 709 files, simply drag and drop them. Go back to Resolve, just above the button you just hit, hit Update Lists. What this does is it checks all the LUTs that have been added or taken away and it will update your list of which ones you can use. Once the save is ready to hit, hit it. Go to the top of the screen, click the button that says nodes. This is a node and this is where you're gonna be applying your new LUTs to. All you have to do is right click, go down to 3D LUT. Now as you can see, our Kino LUTs have been added. So log and R709 or Rec709 are used for different types of footage. If you shoot your footage in a raw or flat color profile, you're gonna to wanna to use log. If you're shooting on a regular DSLR with no specific color profile, like you haven't changed any settings, you're gonna to wanna to use the R709 or Rec709. So this footage here is shot with the Canon 5D Mark II in a regular color profile, meaning that I'm gonna use my Rec709 or R709 folder here. Go to Exposure Variations. Now here you can see so many different options from the LUT pack that we can choose. For this night scene, I want to make it a little darker and a little colder. So all you have to do is hit dark cool 2. And just like that, your LUT has been applied. Let's scroll through here. And as you can see, the highlights are a lot colder. A little blue hue is added to give that cinematic look. Alright, so let's go back to clips and we'll check on another one. So this footage here is shot with a GoPro in a flat color profile on a drone. So in this instance, we're going to use the log LUT. So go down here to the log. They're essentially all the same LUTs as the Rec. 709 file, just for different types of footage. So let's brighten it up a bit, make it a little bit warmer, just like that. Warmer profile, a little dark, more contrasty cinematic look. And don't worry, you can always adjust it after you've applied your LUT, as well as get rid of the LUT completely just by right clicking and hitting reset node. Now you are back to square one. So let's do one more here. This footage here is shot with the 5D Mark II but in a flat color profile. So here we're going to use a log again. Go down to the Kino LUT. Let's make it a little bit darker and we'll make it warmer as well. I recommend experimenting with all your LUTs that you get just so you know which ones are best in which situations and which scenarios. So this looks a lot different. We got nice blues in the ocean here, kind of a desaturated dry look to all the grass and brush around the area. I'm not sure how I feel about the brightness and just the overall blue hue here. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna adjust it a bit, change the lift. Let's just bring the whole thing down, make it a little more contrasty. And there you have it, you've got a nice dramatic scene, very cinematic. Thanks to using LUTs, I've cut down a lot of my time and have got a specific look that I probably wouldn't be able to get without it. And there you have it, that's how you import and apply LUTs in DaVinci Resolve. Don't forget to check out filtergrade.com for all the best Photoshop actions, Lightroom presets, and video LUTs.